All right. So it's late, but I want to just give you all a little start of, um, of some ad mats. Now, immediately, uh, we just doing two question ones, right? So something quick just to keep the ad mats people pumping. There won't be as many people in this live as mats. Let me just say one time, if you came on this live and all you're doing is CSEC mats, this is not CSEC mats. This is CSEC ad mats, which is a completely different subject. Ad math students already know what this is about. You'll know what it is already. And you should know that these things wouldn't show up in your exam again. Certain types of functions question, specifically the composite functions, G of X and inverse and thing, they're leaving them thing out. You know, they're bringing them thing again. However, this is a what? This is a factor theorem question. This is a indices question. This is a logs question. This is a graph of a logs question. All of these we expect to see. So we're going to tackle part B one time. And let's go. We don't want to stay here too long. So part B. If x plus 2 is a factor of f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus a, find the value of a. If x plus 2 is a factor then equating to zero we get x plus two equal negative x plus two equal zero and x is equal to negative two this means f of negative two is a root or f of negative 2 is equal to 0. f of negative 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, if I substitute negative 2 into all of these, this is the first year, this is 2012, I should get 2 by negative 2 cubed. How many of you all know how to do this? You must know how to do a little factor term to start off with a remainder term. Plus a is equal to 0. Let me just double check. I don't have any mistakes here, right? Um, what are we going to get? We'll, we will get <coughs> negative 8 by 2 is negative 16. Negative 3 by 4 is negative 12. Negative 4 by negative 2 is plus 8. Plus A is equal to 0. Bring across everything. Um, simplify. That 8 will kill off our 8, so 8 and negative 20. Negative 20 will come across and be 20. Read of the 10, how much you understand that? Let's go get the next little, little bit. Solve the equation, boom, and bang. I feel advance could be hard this year, yes. Well, usually advance is hard every year. Advance come easy is the abnormality. So how will we go about solving this equation? How we solve in this equation, folks. So this is a classical, classical hidden quadratic here. But before I continue, my admat 12 hour crash course is tomorrow. Please go out and it starts from 12 in the day to 12 in the night. And we'll be grinding through a lot, a lot, a lot of work in them 12 hours. I may take a break like a half an hour, hour in between to just make sure I don't die. But a lot right um and let me see if i can get this up on the screen now maybe your last time to have kind of like message the admin to get in in time any one of the 12 hour crash courses we have admats physics chemistry and bio so far available you could whatsapp the admin here um, to get you right um specifically mention the admats crash course okay so this is hidden quad this is hidden quadratics so what are we looking at we're looking at Three to the power of x, three to the power of x. This is three to the power of x. Hmm. So this is three, this is really three to the a power to a power, right? A power to a power. Can I express this as three to the power of x to b squared minus nine? Um this is three divided by. 3 to the power of x 
to b squared, because I'm bringing down the negative 2, is equal to 8. Note that x to the power of negative a is equal to 1 over x to the power of a. That's the first step I'm taking there. 3 to the power of x. Now, I was thinking that this square would have been the quadratic square. I have a square here, but it's actually a, a hidden quadratic. We're using all of this. So I could just put back that, tuck back that 2x there nicely. It's not, not going to affect me. 3 to the power of 2x. 3 to the power of 2x. So this is even easier to follow. And now I would say maybe let y be equal to 3 to the power of 2x. So just get an easier thing to work with. How is that for everyone? Uh, this is this is a topic called um the disguise or hidden quadratic so this is y uh minus nine over y is equal to eight xavier ravi j sean are they ready for tomorrow elena are they ready for tomorrow um and i could multiply everything by y i'll get y squared minus nine is equal to eight y Bring this across, I get y squared minus 8y minus 9 is equal to 0. This should break down to y minus 9 by y plus 1 equal to 0. So either y minus 9 is equal to 0 and y is equal to 9, or y plus 1 is equal to 0. So y is equal to negative 1. But y is really equal to 3 to the power of 2x y is really equal to 3 to the power of 2x 3 to the power of 2x so i can re i can uh, add it a bit now i'm going to switch back so this is really 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 9 or 3 to the power of 2x is equal to negative Three to the power of two x is equal to nine. I, I can get this is three to the power of two x is equal to um, three squared. Two x is equal to two. X is equal to one. Yes, there's nothing I can do about that. I can't raise three to any power that will make it negative. If I raise three to a negative power, it will become a fraction. If I raise it a fraction, I'll get the square root or the root or whatever root fractional root. There's no, no number I could put here to make this negative. So this has no real solutions invalid. And that's that. That's how you do that question. So brace yourself it. Um, oh, now we have to do the final part, which is the logs. How good are you all in the logs? How your logs would look in class? So in this final part, which is a logs, express x cubed is equal to 10 x minus 3 in the form log base 10. They explicitly tell you to take, to take logs to the base 10 here. So I'm assuming that just a second. Um, yeah, I'm assuming uh, when I write log, I mean log to the base 10, right? So uh, log of x be equal to log to the base 10 x, right? So I'm taking logs, both sides, I'll do log of x cube equal log of 10 x minus 3. Maybe I'll bring this down. 3 log x. What am I trying to get? What am I trying to get? I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get 1 log on this side and ax plus b in the form log and ax plus b. So maybe I'll get rid of that 3 in the end. Um, there was a reason. There seems to be a reason why they put a nice little 10 there for we. So there you go. So this is x minus 3 by log 10. I remember this is 10, 10. And, and anytime you see that, anytime you see that happen with logs, um, 
in the crash course, I'll be talking about some. Um, am I sticking? I, I find I see myself with a delay. You all hearing me clearly, Xavier? Everything looking good? Log 10, 10 is 1. So since log a, a is 1, this is x minus 3 minus 1. 3 log Then bring across the tree. Log x is equal to one two x minus one. One two x minus one, and I divide everything by tree. And I feel like enough information for them there. Hence, state the value of the gradient of log of ten x versus x. So it's in the form. Y is equal to m x plus c, where m is equal to one two yeah so my computer probably fed up i going live <laughs> uh, i like to do one more question one of your call and like, i hope this just help all your sparkle your revision and your entry if x plus two is a factor of wait i just do that i just do that next question so in this one we start up with the factor term and then they have this function thing here let me just now we're not getting this function thing again, but we're getting these guys. Use the factor term to show that x plus 4 is a factor. And see if I can do this right here. The polynomial is x cubed minus x squared minus 14x plus 24. And if, if x plus 4 is a factor, if x plus 4 is a factor, then x plus 4 equal to 0, x is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 is a root. Therefore, f of negative 4 is equal to 0. So you just need to check and see if you got the zero. Except negative four. What I want us to do, use the factor there and just show that it is the factor, right? So okay, let's carry on. So let's test. So f of negative four. Is negative 4 cubed minus negative 4 squared minus 14 by negative 4 um, plus 24 4 by 4 by 4 1 negative so negative 64 minus positive 16 minus 14 by 4 is 16 plus 40 56 plus 24 Everything here looking like everything. This will add up to be 80. This will add up to be 80. One negative, one positive equals zero. Therefore, x plus four is a factor. It's a linear factor. All right. So you need to find all the other linear factors. They're specific. Determine all the other linear factors. Um. So we are to we are to them a little division. So make sure you practice your division. And eh? it's a little tedious sometimes to get it done. So the two many other linear factors, we will say x plus 4 into, and we might get a quadratic, x squared minus. Hopefully, you get a nice little quadratic there that we can work out. So how does this work again? I feel like I can do this in some months. x into x cubed is x squared. So I like the line of these squares and things. So x squared by x is x cubed. And x squared by 4, x squared by 4 is r plus 4x. And then we then we'll subtract those. By the way, if any term was missing, I'll have to zero, zero the term, right? Zero x or zero x squared. So I'm getting, when I subtract this, I'm getting negative five x squared. Then I would be like x into negative five x squared is negative five x. And I'll multiply back, I'll get my negative five x squared minus 20 x. Bring down negative 14 x. Or I could just leave it and subtract. 
I want to subtract again. So I get 6x. I'm getting 6x. You all getting 6x? Um, so x in the 6x is 6. 6y x is 6x. <laughs> Sorry for all the math students tuning into this. Sorry for all the math students tuning into this. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you weekend. Yeah, I'll show you weekend. 6 in the x is 6x. Six 6 by 4 is 24, right? We get everything to work out here nicely. I'm going to bring number 24. So subtract against 0, 0. So we know this is the quadratic factor. But they want the linear factor. So, so far, so far, we have f of x being equal to x plus 4 by x squared plus um, x squared, the quadratic factor of x squared minus 5x plus 6. You know, time is an up essence in math, so you want to keep always keep it pumping. So we need to finish that quadratic off. So it's x plus 4. This was for, I'll show you how much math it was for just now, Elena. So this is x minus 6 plus 1. x plus 1. Factorizing the quadratic. Negative six plus one. Oh no no sorry. Uh, I made a mistake. Negative six plus one, negative five, but I want it to be positive six, so I had to be negative two. Negative three. So all linear factors. How do I factorize quickly? I can factorize quickly by just kind of doing everything in my mind. Like the same AC method is what I'm thinking about here. But I made a mistake, I'd be too fast. All linear factors are x plus 4. Especially when this is 1, it's kind of easy to do in your mind. x minus 2. You can practice it, can't you? You'll get the hang of it. Yeah, yeah, Justin went and touched grass, and Justin real cool, I think. I wanted, me and Justin is friends. So let's do the last part of this question. This is what I'm going to leave you all with tonight. I'm mighty. Love this question for four marks. Mm -hmm. How much marks was that previous question? Two and three, two and three. Uh, remember when you're doing your past papers, don't waste time on the, the composite function stuff, right? And I'm coming again. So let's just do this part. See here. So given that we were given that five, what is that? Three x minus two is equal to seven by x plus two. Come up with this. Come up with this. So, what procedure are you going to take? What procedure are you going to do? Based on this 5 and this 7, I am thinking that we should just immediately take logs. Taking logarithms. Uh, what logs? They didn't specify any base, so we just, and you're not so about anything with the base, so. We can just proceed with confidence. I'm going to just move this across a little bit. If we take logs, we now log into 5 by 3x minus 2 is equal to log into 7 by x plus 2. Nice. And that's since log i don't know if i put this last time since log of a to the power of x is equal to x log of a we can just switch this line up to hopefully this is a good thing to do 3x minus 2 log of 5 is equal by multiplier is equal to x plus 2 log of 7 plus two log of seven and we try and take any x out so i guess if we factor if we distribute and factorize trying to get x if we distribute and factorize we should be in a nice spot we might be in a nice place in life right so let's proceed 
So we just had to multiply the log five by everything by double it. This is what happens when you multiply out, when you distribute. And let me get X, all the X's on one side and all the um, all the other stuff on one side. So the three log five, I bring across this again, minus X log seven. And I bring across this one one thing. So I have two log seven minus two log five. Is this starting to look like the answer? And I have to pull out that two, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. And so I have the numerator ready. So I really go in a nice place in life here. And they are telling me that I should not really, I can I can bring back, I can tuck back up this tree here. To, to get prepared to factorize all the x now. So I'm going to factorize all the x and throw up the tree one time. Tell me if you're following that. Is equal to 2 log 7 minus 2 log 5. And I'm going to bring across everything one time. So x is equal to a factorizing all the 2 here. It's plus, right? You've got a plus, plus, thanks. Yes. This came from, this came across there. Yeah, thank you. So plus log five, and this will go log five to the power of three, five by five is 25 by five is 125 minus log seven. Q. Is that what we required? That's what we required. And that's it. So your question one, that's a little nutshell of what your question one could look like. As I said, um, tomorrow, please go. I'm going to save some energy for tomorrow, please go. That's when I'll be doing the 12 hour crash bus in advance, right? So you know, by scrolling below there, sign up for the crash bus. I, it may take a little while, but we'll try to get everyone in, in time for the crash course tomorrow. Please go on. Um, and then we'll have to answer off those who do the bio crash course. The bio crash course is on Sunday from 12 to 12. And then we have the maths paper one where you all know maths paper to get through to the maths paper one crash course is on 10th of June. And we have some other crash courses there as so well chemistry, physics. I'll be doing the physics. Um, another, another teacher from the students will be doing chemistry so you can just whatsapp the number to find out everything um and with that i wish you good night so i'll do the 12 hour crash course at max tomorrow please god and then if i get some energy on sunday i might tackle some more on youtube some more at max love and blessings folks enjoy now there's oh before y'all go Go watch my AdMats video on trigonometry. Search so Kevin Spring on trigonometry. It's a real nice video. <clears throat> the crash course is free for students who are in my class all year. <clears throat> um, and it's 300 for students who um join in, who want to jump in. It's a people.